Hi, this is James Wine. It's James, a wine guy here to share and celebrate this producer and wine with you today. This is a wine called the Wild Pixie from a very well-known producer called Darnberg. I'm sure you've tasted their wines or at least familiar with this uh, winery in Australia, McLaren Vale. The Wild Pixie 2008 Vintage, 95% Shiraz, 5% Roussan, 14.5% alcohol content wine. And uh, I sought this wine out. I had to taste this wine back panel for your review. I thought, this is really interesting. I have tasted many a Shiraz Viognier, uh, but I've not tasted a Shiraz Roussan wine. And I thought, I want to understand this wine. I want to see a uh, point of difference. I, I want to see if there even was one. I, I really want to see what this does. And the natural question should be, if you can do a Shiraz Viognier, why not a Shiraz Roussan or even another varietal? Uh, to see how Shiraz plays with that. And so far, uh, open the, opening this up on a pre-tasting, I thought, it's worked. It's worked really well. So I'm going to show you some of the pictorials of their labels, and I think they just do an amazing job with the many labels they do produce. Um, the, the Peppermint Paddock, which is a sparkling Chamberson. They do Cabernet Sauvignon. The Stump Jump is extremely familiar to many people out there. They do uh, the Hermit Crab. Um, they do Football, Cadenzia, the Dead Arm. Uh, the Dead Arm is, is probably their flagship Shiraz, which is that they cut off half the fruit, from what I understand, or maybe nearly half, and leave the other uh, on the vine so that it concentrates and creates the, an outstanding Shiraz. Um, so you can see all the great, beautiful labels they do here. And um, one is called the, the Love Glass, which I think is really cute and uh, fun. And there's one up here that probably has, um, it's a dessert wine, and it, it seems like, I'm not going to even say it because I don't want to get in trouble uh, with anyone, but it, it's like, ah, okay. Um, so I thought that was really kind of um, fun and hilarious and cute. So I'm going to taste this wine. And um, for me, there was a point of difference. And I'll tell you what that is in just one moment. Here we go. Concentrated notes of blackberry, a little bit of boysenberry, just a touch, chocolate mint, um, definitely sesame and crushed pine nuts, which is something that is uh, both knowable and not, especially in a red wine. Uh, I'm getting notes of a little bit of white pepper and cinnamon and um, a really beautiful, appropriate amount of chocolate on the finish. That's a really nice touch. And I think that is a characteristic, is that by adding the 5% Roussan, I know they change it out slightly um, from year to year, vintage to vintage. Uh, it could be 6%, it could be 4%, but we landed at 5% on this year. And I'm sure that's through trial to understand what works best. Now, that 5% for this particular vintage is giving a really beautiful note. That is, it really is taming this, this wine, centering this wine. It's giving a different characteristic altogether. In, in fact, it's just that Shiraz just likes to play well with others. Uh, it does so in terms of, say, its confidence. It does so as if it were um, not fearful of that extra 5% or that 5% that is blended into its, um, say, to the base wine. So for me, it's a really nice expression. I would seek this wine out if you're looking for a different signature on a Shiraz. So you'll definitely taste this on the finish. So keep a lookout. Even do 100% Shiraz tasting. Compare that with this wine or even a Shiraz Viognier to see which one you like the best. This is a really nice wine. It gives a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jamesandwineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.